Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. How to achieve volume in men's hair. Now, that can be a struggle, an absolute struggle in whatever hair texture you have. Just because you have fine hair doesn't mean to say that you can't have big volume in your hair. And very often, actually, if you've got thick hair, it can be quite difficult to achieve volume. So in this clip, what I'm going to be talking about is all about how to achieve big volume in men's hair. And it all starts in the bathroom when you're washing your hair right from the very step. So you may think, what does that have to do with my end result? A huge factor. Whatever you wash your hair with is the starting foundation of your style you're going to be rocking throughout the day. Now, as you can see, I've got a lot of volume in my hair today, but you may think there's actually a lot of hair. I have fine hair, a lot of it, but I have fine hair. So sometimes it's notoriously difficult to actually achieve volume, especially if you're not doing the right things. So my first tip is starting off with a shampoo and a conditioner which is going to be working towards giving you better volume more resistance more grip in the hair now one which i've been using uh on and off or when i use um a product which i'm looking for for volume if i wake up in the day uh in the day <laughs> if i wake up first thing in the morning i think to myself i want a big volume style today then out of my armory of products to go to i have a whole host of different products shampoos conditioners styling uh, treatments sort of um, and styling sprays and things afterwards and waxes and pomades. So the first thing I always go to if I want volume on the day is I will grab a shampoo and a conditioner which is for volume. Now at the moment this is one which I'm really really enjoying using and this is by the fish range and it's big fish and it's volumizing two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Now the, the thing what you need to remember when you are going for a shampoo and you're starting off for volume you want something which is going to be boosting your hair whether that be Thor thicker hair, whether that be designed for fine textured hair, or whether that be for... Uh, what, I, what I'm trying to get across is you shouldn't pick something which is going to make your hair so polished, so sleek, that any effort you're going to be putting in, in terms of volume is just going to be falling flat. What you want is you want that resistance. And very often you will find in these type of shampoos that they will have wheat proteins in or something along those sort of lines, which binds to the hair and makes the hair thicker and fuller and stand away from the scalp. And that's what you want when you're going for volume, especially in men's hair. Now, from this, which is really, really great, and I've actually used this this morning as well, so this is the Volumizing 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner for volume. It's really great for creating that resistance, that lift away from the scalp, and it gives you a perfect start for getting the really big volumized style you're looking for. So after you've shampooed your hair, and bear in mind, you don't necessarily have to just use a 2-in-1 uh, shampoo and conditioner, but I find if you're going to go in with a conditioner, please use one which is designed for volume. If you've got finer hair for volume, if you've got thicker hair, it can still be really, really beneficial for a volumizing conditioner. And that's just because it gives you that added bonus of that lift and that added texture when you're coming to styling your hair. So what to do next? So if you're going for a big volume in your hair and you've shampooed your uh, you conditioned your hair of course it's still wet my tip then is to go in with a treatment which is like a treatment spray uh, a root prepping spray which will really boost the volume and help you style your hair for more volume more grip more resistance and overall a much more better foundation and sort of structure so you've got your construction behind that so then you can go in and style your hair now one which i find is really really great for this is by matrix and that's total results now this is high amplifier one dub boost and it's a root lifter spray and another one which I really, really quite like as well, and this is by Trevor Sorbet, and that's Thick Out Fuller Hair. And in here, it, ref uh, it provides root lift and volume, and it's actually got wheat proteins in here as well. So going back to what we spoke about, very often in thicker, uh, for shampoos designed to thicken the hair or for more volume, they will have that in here. And with these type of sprays, spray them all at the roots, and then comb your hair through, spray them through the lengths of the hair as well. Then grab a blow dryer. And the best thing to do is grab a Damon brush like this one here, or even, it doesn't even have to be a Damon brush, just a small sort of round brush, which is great for getting volume. Now you may think to yourself, that's for women's hair. Yes, it is. But what we're actually going to do will really, really help you achieve better volume in your hair. But if you, but of course for men's hair, it's actually how you finish it. So what I always do is if you're, if you're using a brush like this, and for me, this is my favorite brush for creating volume. So starting at the roots, now it's really important to be quite careful. You don't want to be really pulling at the roots. You don't want to be pulling at the hair, because as I always say, with style is great in your hair, but you want to be looking after your scalp and your hair. So of course you can keep having that amazing style. So it's great for styling your hair, but it's also vitally important to be really caring and really nurturing to your hair as well. So it's great if you've got lots of product in your hair, it's important to wash it out at the end of the day but getting back to what we're talking about in terms of creating volume if you've got a brush like this 
that will be your best friend in creating volume. So blow dry in one hand, this type of brush in the other, and literally starting at the roots and literally pulling the hair quite taut. And when I say taut, I mean tension, but not crazy amounts. So don't go pulling at the roots. And what I need you to do then is literally from the roots, just pull upwards towards the ceiling. And then literally as you go through and you've dried each section, go upwards towards the ceiling and then direct it back. OK, and then literally do that through the whole of your hair. But what's really good at increasing volume is when you've got the blow dry and you've got a brush, brush it over to the opposite direction you're going to be wearing your hair and then literally pass the blow dryer over into the other hand and brush it off to the opposite side. So what you will be doing is sort of just wrapping the hair over, wrapping the hair back. And what you're doing, because you're going against the grain of the hair, and when I say that, you're going against the way your hair sits. So you're naturally going to be getting more volume in the hair. And of course, with using these type of sprays, which are root lifting sprays for thicker and fuller hair, you're going to be getting more tension, more structure, more resistance. So in a way, what you're doing is you're creating your scaffolding, your foundation for a volumized style. What I like to do then when I've got that dried and you will see you've got really puffy, really big hair. But of course, you want that look to last. You want that then to be able to get that into a nice style. So what I do then is flip my head off to the front. So literally just flip over. Not quite literally, but flip your head over and then grab a hairspray or a free spray like this one. My absolute favorite by Schwarzcraft uh, got to be glue blasting free spray and then spray. You may find that a bit strange because, of course, you haven't come to style your hair yet. But spray your hair, honestly, with your head lent over. You will then look back in the mirror and think to yourself that it looks like you've been electrocuted because your hair is standing high sky. But that's what you want for volume. If you're struggling, you've got really ultra fine texture hair and very often that can happen. If you have got a lot of shampoos, conditioners or you're using from your family bathroom, they can polish the hair so much, especially if you're using a damaged one or a moisturizing one, that it's like glass. So it's incredibly difficult to get volume. But of course, following these tips will help. But if you're finding that you need a little bit more lift and a bit more volume and a bit more structure and a bit more resistance, a great product to throw in with your hair is Again, you can buy this from so many different ranges, but one I love is by Schwarzkopf Got To Be, and it's a texturizing volumizing powder. So literally part your hair, tap some of this texturizing volumizing powder throughout your hair. It's very fine and it's a fine powder, but tap it through the roots and give that a rub on the scalp and it will literally just make your hair sort of stand away from your scalp. And that's really great for creating volume as well, especially when you're coming in and you want that huge, great big volume style. Of course, it's great, but you want it to look as a good style as well. You don't want to be standing out that it's just this sort of huge amount of hair. You want it to look good. You want it to sort of be that 1950s inspired look. Or you may want that really nice sort of, I don't know that, I, I quite like it sometimes, that really nice high volume on one side, swooped off to the side, that sort of Elvis inspired sort of look, which of course, pompadours always seem to stand the test of time. Every time we go into a new year, it's always on that list of trending hairstyles. And it's great. It's, it can be modern. It can be classic. And of course, you can smarten things up by using pomades, gels, those sort of wet look products. And of course, the classic Brill Cream. Or if you're creating that ultimate volume like what I am today, what's really great then is to come in with either like a thickening paste product. Now, this is new to me, actually, um, but it's really nice in creating thicker hair and it's great for creating volume and lift and you also could use something from the fish range and these are my two favorites I have to admit at the moment and again it's for this one's for volume and this is by the fish range and this one here is ruffled fish reworkable wax fiber definition of a wax with the thickness of a fiber for uh, defined devilished uh, devil devilished styles forgive me if that's wrong but i think what we're trying to get out there is a strong hold and it's a matte finished and it's creating lift and volume away from the scalp this one is for creating thicker hair and lift and what's great is if you've got that volume you've sprayed your hair if you you flipped your hair over into the front and you've sprayed you've got back up and your hair is really high sky then here what comes in with the styling use about half a golf ball size amount if not a little bit less rub it all through your hands of course be careful because you've got that blasting free spray in your hair or some sort of styling spray in your hair already. So it's going to be a little bit firmer to get the product through. Rub it all through your hands. Then go in through your roots. Really concentrate on your roots and your scalp with that product. Pull your hands through your hair. And actually what's a really great tip is when you're finishing your hair, you're drying your hair off. Don't just finish with the brush because what you want 
don't forget, men's hair, you want it to look manly as well. Use your, so for the last couple of minutes, use your fingers and just pull your fingers through your hair so you don't look like that you've really been concentrating your hair with that brush. You don't necessarily want that look. So then coming back to the styling, using your hands, really, really vitally important. So you've got that product. What's great for creating more volume is building the product up. So you've used a little bit of the wax, you've used a little bit of the clay or whatever you're choosing to use, both very, very good for creating lift. So you've used a small amount, you've rubbed it through your roots, you've pulled it through your hair. Let that dry a little bit, or if you want more volume, spray a little bit of blasting free spray as you're lifting your hair up with that product in. And of course, you're going to be getting quite a lot of sort of resistance in your hair by now, but it's going to be great because, of course, it's going to last all day. And what's really, really nice is then going in using a little bit more on your hands and putting a little bit more through the hair. You're giving that hair much more strength and almost like a scaffolding for your style you want to be rocking the whole time you're going to be wanting it for. And what's really great then is using your hands, then pull your hair off onto one side, literally pull it through like what I've done here. Break the hair up with your fingers, pull it off onto one side, and literally swoop one side back. And then literally push with the back of your with the back of your hand, your palm of your hand, push the back of your hair up and then spray. Okay. And as you're doing that, what you're doing is you're holding that creation of volume in place. And then what you'll want you'll want to do is literally just smarten things up with a comb or a brush and put it into the style you want. And literally, if you want a little bit more volume, is you're spraying the product to finish the spray off. Flip your head over again and literally come back up after you've sprayed the spray or whatever product you're using to finish your hair off. And I kid you not, you will have the most volumized style by following these tips. Of course, yes, it's a lot of products in your hair, but it's worth it because look at the style. Look at the amount of volume you can create. Without using these products, I would never have that. Volumizing shampoo and conditioner is great. And it's great for keeping that natural sort of volume in the hair. But if you're wanting to rock a really volumized sort of out there style, that 1950s in style pompadour, then great. If you want to really smarten this up, for example, like, an, um, like a formal dinner or a formal event or an interview, grab a comb. I kid you not. Or even with your brush, which you've used. And then literally smarten things up by rather instead of using the fingers to pull through, use the brush because then you can pull the hair up even more volume. And literally as you're combing through and you've got that really nice, smart, sleek line in the hair, like as in a comb mark through the hair, spray some product and you'll get this really smooth, really nice pompadour look. And it's really great, really smart and it's eye catching in any room you walk into. And it, do you know what? It gives you so much confidence. It's a real classical look. It really is really quite nice and fashionable. It's really trendy. But of course, it can be classic as well. And it can really put you back into an era which was so cool and really just wouldn't we all have wanted to have been there in those 1950s, those sort of Elvis Presley sort of films, those sort of um, those era, um, those incredible eras, uh, which, yeah, absolutely great and really, really cool. Um, so following these tips should give you great volume and now hopefully by this you should know how to achieve great big volume in your hair okay hopefully you enjoyed that one i certainly did i love having volumized uh, styles um certainly one of my favorites i have to i think it just suits me and people know me for having big volumized hair um and that's just pretty quite cool and it and it just looks great i have to admit and i do feel really really confident with this style as well okay thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this clip as i say i certainly did and give it a go um some of those products in fact all of those products bar the volumizing thickening paste i have reviewed on my channel i will be reviewing this one pretty soon as well um but yes give it all a go and if you think that you wouldn't suit volumized hair give it a try it certainly is a bit of a game changer for hairstyles, and I think you will absolutely love it. So give it a try. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.